let's make a stitch pattern. This is the mistake rib stitch, and this is a knit and purl pattern that is a beginner level knit. It looks like a combination of the seed stitch coupled with a rib stitch. It's nice and stretchy, has a beautiful texture, it doesn't roll, and it's reversible. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. To get the written pattern as well as information on the needles and yarn we're using this video, please click on the video description below and get the link to our blog. We have a pattern for a full square on this, including a 12 by 12 square and a 7 by 9 if you are making squares for Wake Up America. If you need the right or the left-handed video, please click down below and you'll see the right and left-handed video links down in the description below. To begin the mistake rib stitch, you're going to need a multiple of four plus one. I have 37 stitches cast on for this one. I'm using a medium weight yarn and a US seven or four and a half millimeter needle. And I have cast on 37 stitches and I've got seven inches across. If you want a 12 by 12, you're gonna to want to cast on 65 stitches. And we'll have all that information in our blog. So go ahead and cast on, I did a long tail cast on 37 stitches for this small swatch. And we're gonna begin on row one. It is a two row repeat. Row one, you're gonna start by knitting the first two stitches. So knit twice, one and two. And then you're going to purl next. And this will start a repeat the next four stitches. So we're going to purl once. And then we're going to put the yarn to the back and knit three times. Knit one, two, three. And repeat those last four stitches. Yarn forward, purl, knit one, knit two, knit three, and repeat. Yarn forward, I'll go slower, purl, and yarn to the back, knit, one, two, three. If you need slower tutorials, we do have knit and purl tutorials as well as casting on and binding off down in the video description below. Continue repeating those last four stitches, knit, uh, I'm sorry, purl once and knit three times. Repeat until you have three stitches at the end. Pause your video and I'll see you at that point. See you soon. We're on the last three stitches. You're just going to yarn forward and purl and then two stitches remain, and you just knit those until the end. One and two. And that's the end of row one. Row two, just turn that over, and you're going to begin with a purl. Your row two begins with a purl at the very front. You can see the purl there, so you're just putting a uh, purl right on top of that. And to keep track, I usually will put a stitch marker on row one just to make sure. Once you have this pattern going, it's going to establish really well and you'll see where these things line up. You'll see that there's a knit column on each row. So we have, uh, or on each side, so we have a knit column here. And when we turn over on this side, you'll see a knit column here. So those stitches are always going to be knit. And then the stitches in between get alternated each row. So let's go ahead and put our yarn to the back. We've purled that first stitch, and now you're going to knit three. One, two, three. And that's it. You're going to repeat those four stitches just as you did on the previous row. Yarn forward and purl. Yarn to the back and knit three. One, two, three. And you'll see that uh, one is right before this knit column. Then the knit column is always knit and then the, col the um, column right after, that stitch right after, is going to be knit on either side of the column. So we're gonna knit one, two, three, and then repeat, yarn forward, purl, and then knit, one, two, and three. 
and continue repeating. So go ahead and do that all the way across. Pause your video, meet you back for the last stitch. See you soon. I'm on the last stitch and we're going to end just as we began, yarn forward and purl that stitch. And that is the end of row two. Turn your work over. You can see all these columns line up nicely. You'll start to see your pattern emerge as you continue by repeating those two rows, the two row repeat. And when you're ready to bind off, just measure it to the distance that you like. And you can bind off on either row, just uh, I suggest repeating your pattern. So bind off in pattern for whatever row would come next. Well, here is my final square. I finished after a row two and then I bound off in pattern as if I was on a row one. All I have left to do is weave in my tails and sew it together with another square if I want to make a blanket or something larger. And we will be having monthly stitches uh, every month, one on needles and one on the knitting loom if you're looking for those. So stay tuned for next week's on the knitting loom. But we'll have a stitch of the month to make squares every month. We'll make 12 by 12s and also seven by nines if you're doing warm up America squares as well. So all those links will be down in the video description below. Now, if you're really curious, it's the very first time I I'm featuring this needle so I'll kind of plug it at the end here this is not a sponsored video but I did pick these needles up at my local Michael store I'm gonna have a link to get them on Amazon if you like it would support uh, good and kisses it's an affiliate link and what's cool about these needles is they're ergonomic they're super lightweight oh my gosh they're so lightweight they are plastic the tips look like little drumsticks they're they're rounded up to about this point and then they're triangular shaped okay they've got three sides to them and they're ergonomic and they just fit in my fingers really well and they are like I said lightweight the cable on here is nice and lightweight it is a fixed cable you guys know if you've been following me for a while I do like the interchangeable ones but we'll see because I've really enjoyed working with them on here and like I said they are super light so I'm really enjoying them this is from Prim P-R-Y-M it's a US 7 needle, which is a four and a half millimeter. And I also picked up a size US 11. So we'll see how that is working with bulky and super bulky weight yarn. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure and boop, boop on that like button and comment down below. We'll see you soon and happy knitting. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.